What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about the Chinese Silver Panda. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. The link will be in the description, trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today we are starting a second round of double uploads. That's right, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This week I will be posting two videos a day as opposed to one video a day. Normally I post videos once a day at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, the videos will be posted at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, extra free content. Today I want to talk about the Chinese Silver Panda. As you can see, I have one right here in front of me in an airtight capsule. Now, believe it or not, this one was actually given to me as a gift. One of my subscribers, one of my viewers, sent one of these my way to my P.O. box. Every now and then, a coin will show up in the P.O. box, and I'm always appreciative, but I always try to discourage people from sending coins. Thank you very much for sending this my way, but in no way, shape, or form did you need to send this, but I am, I am grateful. So, this panda right here is actually a 2017 and one of the things that I do like about the silver panda or the Chinese panda silver and gold is the fact that the design changes every year every year there's a new panda this just happens to be the design that they decided on for the 2017 panda which I do really like. You can see the panda chomping on some bamboo, it looks like. At the bottom, 30 grams AG at silver. Three nines fine. So every year, this side of the coin switches up a little bit. However, this side of the coin remains the same. For those of you who do not know what this is right here, this is a picture of the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests, which is located in the Temple of Heaven in Beijing. I do like the way this looks. I do think it's a beautiful design. Like I said, this side of the coin remains the same every year. Don't ask me what it says over top. I have no idea. I don't speak Chinese. But at the bottom, 2017. Now this side of the coin obviously changes every year. And one thing that I would like to point out regarding the Chinese panda is that as of 2016, these are no longer a troy ounce, like the maple, like the eagle, like the Britannia. They are now 30 grams, as you can see on the bottom right there, 30 grams, while a troy ounce is 31.1 grams, just about. So all they really did is reduce the amount of silver they're providing by a measly gram of silver not too big of a difference. Nothing all that significant from the outside looking in. But the premium remains the same. So a 31.1 gram silver panda can be picked up for the same amount of dollars as a now 30 gram silver panda. Now 
it's not 100% confirmed why, or I should say, I'm not 100% aware of the exact reason they made this change, but I assume it was to save some money. I've talked about the Chinese panda a few times in the past, and I always go back to the analogy where stores, like grocery stores, it's been said that they are quote unquote shrinking our food. Jars of peanut butter used to be flat on the bottom, now they're concaved. Boxes of cereal, same exact size up and down, same exact size left to right, but front to back is just a little bit smaller. They reduce the amount of food that they give you, but they keep the prices the same. And the reason they do this is so they can technically charge you more without really charging you more. You're still paying the same exact price, but you're getting less for your dollars. I don't know if that's why China did this with their coins, but it makes sense to me. But like I said, I'm not 100% sure. I'm just speculating. But I wanted to talk about a couple different coins this week. As many of you know, last week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I posted the American Eagle. Then I posted the Canadian Maple Leaf. And then I posted the Australian Kangaroo. So before we continue talking about the Panda, I want you guys to take a guess what other coins I'll be covering and going over this week other than the Panda. What coins do you think I'll be showcasing on Wednesday and Friday this week? Let me know in the comments. Or if you have any requests for coins for future bonus videos, let me know. Anyway, back to the Panda. I've always been a fan of the Panda. Let me see if I can get that in focus. I've always been a fan, and I think one of the reasons I'm drawn to the Silver Panda is not only the fact that it changes the design every year, so it's a coin that you not only have to stack, it's a coin that you can collect as well. Somewhat superior than coins that have the same exact design in terms of collecting it, as at least. I would still argue that the American Silver Eagle is the all-around superior pure silver coin that there is. It's the number one most recognizable silver coin that there is. It's the most trusted, most respected. I would say that the Maple Leaf is a close second. And then, as for third place, I would say it's a multiple way tie for third. And the Panda is one of the many coins that I would consider third place. As I talk about from time to time, Silver Eagle is the foundation of my stack. The Maple Leaf is second in command, and third in command are a variety of different coins. For example, the Silver Panda. I've always been a fan of the coin. I have a few, but the one that I'm holding right now, like I said, was a gift. So once again, thank you very much for this coin. I appreciate it, and I'm grateful. And I think many of the viewers are too, because it gave me something a little bit different to talk about today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 1,000 subscribers. Help us out. And if you'd like to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, Please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, and many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. 
Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. Number one, what other coins do you think I'm going to be talking about this week other than the Silver Panda? And two, what are your thoughts on the Silver Panda? Do you like it, especially due to the fact that it changes the design every year? It gives you something to collect on top of the silver that you're stacking? Something new, something interesting, something that switches up every year. Do you avoid it due to the fact that they lowered the amount of silver that they're actually handing off to you? It went from a troy ounce of silver down to 30 grams of silver. I know a lot of people weren't too pleased. Let me know in the comment section down below anything and everything related to the Chinese silver panda. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.